Medsonics is a low frequency acoustic pressure wave technology that is completely non-invasive and it has been shown to be extremely effective on a wide variety of both short-term and long-term conditions and for about 10 years now those effects have been immediate, measurable and sustainable and Medsonics is duly registered with the FDA as a class 1 medical device which is the safest classification possible. Medsonics has shown to be effective across numerous body systems. There seems to be both short-term and long-term effects. So it would seem that one of the um, most important things it does on a positive note for the body is to decrease inflammation and at the same time increase blood flow. And it would seem that between those two factors, it is what is leading to these positive results um, you know, across the board that we're seeing. Now the specific mechanisms involved are not quite clearly yet understood specifically. However, there have been no cases of any detrimental effects for it. And again, because it's completely non-invasive, when you weigh that all out with the benefits that is shown, it's really a tremendous, tremendous technology. One of the things that we know it's doing from some of the initial pilot studies that were done at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, is that through Doppler ultrasound, we've measured that it absolutely increases blood flow. In fact, in all 10 arteries that were um, examined, both pre- and post-medsonics treatment, there was an absolute increase across the board in all those arteries. So, of course, if there's an increase in blood flow, there must be some agent within the body that is being acted upon by Medsonics that's causing this vasodilation. And one of those agents we're looking at right now is nitric monoxide and possibly epinephrine as well, both of which, of course, are natural vasodilators that the body produces. So we assess that possibly what's happening we're getting, um, because the acoustic pressure wave is a pressure wave, it's likely causing a pulsatile type stress to the endothelial cells within the blood vessels, which is causing this um, uh, rebounding effect of nitric monoxide or epinephrine causing this vasodilation. That's one of the assertions that we're looking at right now. In addition to that, some of the other studies that were done involved um, patients with osteoarthritis. And what we saw with that is that there was an immediate increase in pain-free range of motion, which is assessed by pre and post goniometric measurements of the affected joints. So in other words, we were able to see a pain-free range of motion increase following Medsonics treatment. So we're looking at some of the factors that might be involved. We're looking specifically at uh, the effects of possibly beta endorphin, which is the strongest uh, pain um, killing substance that the body creates, and it's, it's likely that Medsonics is causing a stimulation of that um, into the local areas of pain and thus creating that immediate increase in pain free range of motion. On the long term, it's very likely affecting the, the inflammatory process as well. So you couple these two factors together, and we're starting to really um, look at some of the inflammatory. Uh, proteins and some of the things, some of the substrates like C-reactive protein, we want to see the immediate and then long-term effects on those types of things as well. The clients enter the room um, completely clothed, there's no disrobing. They sit in a very comfortable chair in close proximity to the central unit itself. Um, they have a chance or choice of um, wearing some uh, headphones so they can listen to some easy music or they don't have to. Many patients end up falling asleep during the half hour treatment and um, some read books and some just talk. But it's a very simple procedure of simply sitting there and being experienced and affected by this uh, sound wave technology.